Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Blizzcoon, and we're back with another video. In today's video, I'll be describing and, and show, sharing you guys, um, sharing with you guys the Cavern of the Sight, which is a geographical location uh, located in Lumber Tycoon 2 in the mountain region. Um, this was added uh, a while ago, like years ago. Um, it was a little hint to SpongeBob um, where you can buy the bold and brass painting. Unfortunately, you can't actually get inside the cave anymore, um, the cavern anymore, where, where you're. Where you're um, Previously able to buy the painting. Now you can only get, you know buy the painting off other players. But um, to get into this cave, you are definitely going to need some dynamite. Uh, I just, I'm bringing a work light just in case I'm, I'm going to need it. And then I get, of course get a car, get a, you know an axe just in case. Uh, you're gonna need that. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. So get up on this mountain here, and I'll show you guys uh, where to go from here. So the, ca the cavern of the site is a quest area that is hidden behind the door of the Shrine of the Site, which is located inside the Rock Bridge Cave on the mountainside. Um, this cavern is the only place where you can obtain the painting bull and the brash, other than buying or trading with other players, of course. Um, I'll post a picture on the screen right now to show you guys where this actually is located in the first place. Uh, how you used to be able to access this. As of June, uh, 19, uh, ju sorry, June 9th, 2019, players can no longer use two box versions of the items to unlock the door of the cavern. Um, yeah, this cavern can only be accessed by successfully unlocking the Shrine of the Sight, which is right before the cavern. Uh, to do this, the player must first confirm the ownership of two numbered cubes. These cubes were, uh, you know, used to, be able to be, used to be able to be bought and sold and whatnot uh, years ago. One numbered cube must have the number 12 on it, and one cube must have the number 13 on it. They, they need to be in their gray texture, their gray color variant, which... Uh, you need to open those boxes to a certain number of um, some of, certain number of times to actually get those gray variants. This was added up years ago, and to follow to you, I, I, I watched a pr uh, press conf conference where he was uh, discussing uh, the addition of this feature into the game. Uh, when he talked about like these two the, the, these two um, boxes that you need to enter and put it into the, put it into uh, the uh, shrine of sight to get into the cavern of the sight, um, or actually two eyes uh, so uh, two of his eyes so he was he was doing like a pixelated version of his face and those um these boxes are like the the, the two eyes of his actual face which is interesting uh, when, when he did that um and they have you know the gray variant so that's the, like the color of his eyes i guess i'm not sure um that's really interesting it's really really uh, cool uh, insight in, uh, into his addition to the game and it really makes sense right because it's called the cavern of the site and the shrine of the site, right? These, these are his, these are his eyes. These boxes are are his eyes in the first place. Um, so that gives some insight into this, but it's kind of an interesting addition that I wouldn't think uh, have been added. So of course you guys can see fine, but just just you know for the for the sake of the video, I'll be sh you know uh, lighting this up. So uh, follow me into this cave. You know I, I didn't really talk about where I was going, but you guys can see right. Um, yeah, let's just bring a work light, why not? It might get darker. So follow this area into here. And, um... Yeah, I think, actually, that this place is normally blocked off. I could be mistaken. Uh, but I think you normally would have to put the dynamite right here and have this area blown up. If I'm not mistaken, I, I've done this uh, many years ago, but I think this area is normally blocked off and normally, uh... Where you would have to blow it up, but I think uh, someone already did this recently, so I must uh, someone must have done this recently because it's already open for us. Just in case, I'll bring the dynamite. Just in case I'm mistaken. But as we explore this, we're going to see some red light coming at the end of this corridor, um, and this is going to be where the, uh, the shrine of the sight is. Okay. Again, as of June 9th. Uh, 2019, you're unable to actually open this door and get the bold and brash paintings, but if you were, this is how you do it. You put the two eyes, his two eyes, which are just really boxes of the certain, you know, a certain number. They have to be a certain number, and those are the numbers are actually pretty rare to actually get in the first place. So you'd buy and trade to get those, or you know, get be lucky yourself uh, to get those numbers. You place the two boxes, one in here, one in here, and if you do it correctly, you, you should immediately hear a grinding door noise of the door of the shrine slowly opening, which should lead you down a dark tunnel, uh, large enough to get your vehicle through. Um, and I'll post a picture on the screen of what that actually looks inside, and where a bright light shines down towards the squitter painting, where you're able to just take it from there. It, it, this uh, cavern shows a close resemblance to the cave crawler cavern, 
in the sense that it's all sandy on the bottom and it has like a little um, decline, inclines in, in, in similar places as the cave, crawl, cave crawler cavern would have. So again, I think you would normally need dynamite to actually open this door, but it looks like somebody did it recently. So again, don't try to put anything else into it, it's not going to work. But there was a brief period of time, uh, fun fact, where you're able to put like axes or, or type, different types of wood in there, you know, provided it wasn't cave crawler wood or red wood, lava wood, into those actual holes which would open the door itself, rather than putting the boxes in there. So for a short period of time, that was actually possible, but not anymore, and you can't even put anything into it anymore without it just disintegrating and doing nothing. <laughs> so. A uh, really fun fact though, this was, this, uh, again, it has been closed for around three years now, uh, longer than that, uh, but it was a very interesting feature at the time of its release, and I remember just so many memories of actually getting uh, in there in the first place with friends and whatnot. So that's kind of the history behind the cavern of the site and the shrine of the site. Uh, one of those is accessible, one of them is not. You can come there and visit if you'd like, just to kind of um, see a cool feature you might not have known in Lumber Tycoon 2 before. If you didn't, uh, know this before, hopefully you learned something. If you did know before, hopefully hopefully you still learned something in the process of watching this video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did drop a like, make sure, make sure you subscribe and turn the bell on so that you know if I'm ever to upload. Leave any comments here in the comment section below. Uh, like this video, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching, and peace out.